This is a video guide to installing the aluminium spreader plate system for wooden floors. This guide uses a single loop system, but the advice also applies to multi-loop systems. This video is not designed to replace the ProWarm installation manual and you should ensure you have read it thoroughly before installation. For information on manifolds and pumps for use in single loop and multi loop systems, please refer to our manifold and pumps videos found on our webpage or contact us on 01268 567 019. The aluminium spreader plate system is designed to be installed on timber joist floors with the spreader plate suspended on the joists. The aluminium spreader plate system reflects heat upwards, providing an efficient means of warming the room. Your aluminium spreader plates are suitable for joist centres of 400 mm. ProWarm also supply a foiled faced in joist batten system, which negates the need for separate insulation and the aluminium spreader plates. For more advice on which system is right for you, contact our Technical Support Centre. You will require the following tools to install the aluminium spreader plate. A saw, hammer and chisel for creating notches in the joists, Stanley knife, safety glasses, tin snips, tape measure. Safety gloves are also recommended because the aluminium spreader plates can be sharp. Before you install the aluminium spreader plate system, you need to ensure you have fully prepared the joists to accept the pipe's path through the room. Carefully plan the pipe's layout, ensuring the pipe starts and finishes at the pump or manifold. Pipe layout is not critical and you can lay them to suit your needs, subject to the joist layout. If the heat supply is an air or ground source heat pump, 150mm centres are recommended. Three grooved panels are therefore required. For further advice, contact the Technical Support Centre. Because the spreader plate is suspended from the top of the joists, with the pipe channel being beneath this level, it will be necessary to notch the joists. You must ensure that the notching of joists is permitted according to the building regs for your installation site. Notches must have a minimum depth of 20 mm to allow the diameter of the pipe to sit without protruding from the upper surface of the joists. If your joists do not have 400 mm centres, provided you have sufficient height, you can lay suitable sized battens at right angles to the joists and suspend the aluminium spreader plates between these. Insulation should be installed under the aluminium spreader plates to maximise efficiency. We recommend either a 50mm solid insulation board or a 150mm mineral wool. The insulation should be placed above any electrical wiring and other services and below the aluminium spreader plate. If there are water pipes, these should be lagged. If supplied, refer to your floor and pipe layout plan and begin laying the aluminium spreader plates between the joists. We recommend you wear gloves for this phase of the installation as the aluminium spreader plates can be sharp. You will need to place the aluminium spreader plates away from the walls to allow room for the pipes to bend and return in the opposite direction. Allow at least 250 millimetres for this. Secure the spreader plates as you go using either staples, nails or screws. Whichever you use, be sure they are secured flush with the surface of the spreader plate. When you place the second spreader plate, leave a 10mm gap to allow for expansion. Before securing this second spreader plate, insert a small length of pipe into the two spreader plate's meeting channels to ensure they align correctly. Leave this in place whilst you secure the second spreader plate before removing. Repeat this process for the remainder of the room. At no point allow the spreader plates to overlap as this will cause a noise when heating up and cooling down. Before beginning the installation of the heating pipe, refer to your plan of how the pipe will be laid, ensuring you record where it will lie, bend and that the pipes maintain the optimum distance for your system as stated in the guide. Starting at the manifold or pump, work your way through the installation of the pipe, 
unrolling as you go and firmly pressing the pipe into the spreader plate's pipe channel. Leave enough pipe at the beginning and end at the location of the pump or manifold to allow for easy connection to the system later. Pipes can be secured at the notched joists using pipe clips. At this stage we recommend you label the pipe as flow, return and additionally label the loop number if you're installing a multi-loop system using a permanent marker. Once the pipe is laid, cut the pipes at the pump or manifold leaving enough spare length for the pipe to be attached. Cover your heating system with tongue and groove chipboard or suitable flooring. If you have any questions about the installing process, call our Technical Support Centre on 01268 567 019.